So, Brad, we got some visitors here at Station 5 in Longview today. What's going on? Well, with, uh, in conjunction with Open World and the U.S. Ukraine Foundation, we're bringing our 13th delegation to Longview, Texas. And this is a group of uh, oil and gas and energy individuals from Ukraine. Some are in the Ukrainian parliament, some are mayors, and some are CEOs of oil and gas companies. And we're touring uh, the city this week, and we have a Texas Oil and Gas Symposium later, and then a special reception and dinner tomorrow night with Oksana Bayul and General Breedlove. And some of our uh, Washington people will be here also. How long has this been going on? It's been a while, I guess. For, for Longview, the, the established um, city-to-city contact has taken place since 1997. And actually bringing delegations over to Longview uh, through Open World began in 2004. Okay, so they've been over here quite a few times. Yeah, 13 times. Wow. This is the 13th. Uh, outside of the 13th, we've also had just individuals from the fire department visit uh, Romney, Ukraine, when it wasn't an open world delegation. It was just a, it was called Community Partnership Project. And it was city to city. It was city of Longview and the city of Romney. And so, now it's expanded. These guys are from all over Ukraine. Oh, wow. Okay. What kind of information is exchanged? Um, it depends on the, through open world, it's different topics each year. Uh, we've had uh, city governors, we've had uh, mayors, uh, we've had um, fire department and local and communal services, and this, this specific delegation deals with oil and gas and energy and infrastructure. Okay, all right, and uh, I guess you know, people in Longview are learning from them as well. Absolutely, it's been a while since the war. Since the war began, uh, we had to pause delegations coming, so this is really the first time in five years. And, um, and we feel it's special because we have a member of parliament with us today and he's connected with Zelensky. A lot of people have heard of President Zelensky in Ukraine and uh, he's in his party and all of these guys are going back to take information they gain here to better help their country uh, deal with the war situation. Why do you think it's important uh, to come over here and visit the United States? Yeah, first of all, the uh, United States is a big friend of Ukraine, so we want to uh, communicate. We want to have some uh, communication, some dialogue, some uh, some connection, and it's very interesting for us to uh, to see some um, uh, to see some developments and to bring uh, this experience to Ukraine. Uh, moreover, uh, as I am uh, chairman of the Energy Committee, so Texas is very interesting for us because it's big oil and gas industry here and uh, it's very uh, important for energy independence uh, of Ukraine just to get better experience and to uh, get some knowledge uh, from Texas uh, and to implement uh, in our country. So Texas is uh, especially uh, uh, area uh, uh, for Ukraine in uh, terms of uh, energy security and uh, use of energy because we have a lot of uh, gas extraction, we have uh, oil extraction, and we uh, also develop uh, renewables, green energy. So, uh, how to build uh, some smart mix of all this energy? So, it's very interesting to see how it works here and to uh, to bring this experience to Ukraine. All right, and I guess uh, you guys are here because of the Oilman Summit tomorrow, correct? Uh, yeah, Partly. and because of this as well. So, we visited Washington. Uh, we two, two days were in Washington, and then in Texas we visit uh, fire stations, police, etc., etc. And tomorrow will be uh, more about uh, energy, oil, and gas. Yeah. Okay. Is this uh, your first trip on this? Yeah, actually, it's my first trip to U.S. and uh, my first trip, of course, to Texas as well. So it's very interesting. I like it. All right. So, what do you think about the ropes? Uh, it's cool. It's crazy. So. A great, ex great experience. Yeah, it's uh, uh, so. You know, what kind of information do you think you'll be able to take back to Ukraine? Uh, so, um, it's very interesting how everything works on a community level, uh, where police is uh, uh, under the city, not under the some federal or state uh, level. Uh, how it works. Uh, uh, communication cooperation with uh, some other authorities, uh, how uh, judge works here in uh, uh, in local area, uh, 
and uh, uh, I think it could be interesting for for Ukrainian local authorities uh, to uh, to maybe to make some changes uh, and uh, to develop it uh, to to work it better. Uh, and of course, uh, I'm waiting for energy part. So, how you use uh, oil, how you use gas, uh, which technology uh, do you use uh, right now? So, what are your plans? Uh, how you solve this uh, uh, this uh, debates uh, about oil and gas, renewables? Uh, and by the way, it's. Uh, Right now, it's a very interesting time because you have elections uh, in several days. So just to understand how people communicate, uh, so which which party uh, people likes, which candidates. Uh, so uh, uh, actually, uh, we we do not participate in this political discussion because we we want uh, to keep support from both political parties from U.S. But again, it, U.S. is a big big democracy, so it's. Very interesting uh, how it uh, how it will be done, uh, and it's interesting time. Are you going to come back? Oh, I would be happy to come back because I like yeah Texas is crazy. Because uh, actually, uh, uh, on uh, uh, on Saturday we uh, visited Dallas and we went to a football match between uh, uh, between uh, Texas Christian University and Texas Tech. Uh, so it was great match, uh, very interesting. So and uh, I like it. Yeah. Good deal. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, and uh, it's not really a sister city situation. Not though. not this one. No, yeah. this is open world, and this is delegates from all around Ukraine. We have had sister city in the past, and that was with Romney and Longview specifically. I got you. We used to take uh, fire chiefs. Uh, policemen, communal service workers from the city, city council people, but this is a little different type of delegation. Yeah, okay, all right. And so, um, and what's the event that's going on uh, Tuesday evening? It's gonna be the uh, Texas Oil and Gas Symposium Reception and Dinner. We have uh, Philip Breedlove, he's the uh, former Supreme Commander of NATO Europe, and on his watch is when Ukraine was invaded in 2014 by Putin, and so he, uh, has a strong commitment to Ukraine and what Ukraine needs to win the war and the tactics. It's just all about policy, getting the policy connect with what needs to be done. So he will be a special guest. And then also we're giving Oksana Bayul the champion for Ukraine award for all the work she's done with Ukraine. And then Robert McConnell, who was the assistant attorney general for Ronald Reagan. And he's also the uh, co-founder for the U.S. Ukraine Foundation of the board I sit on. And he'll be here, and uh, he'll be giving the award and speaking about Ukraine and the U.S. Ukraine Foundation and its work in Longview for the past 30 plus years. Okay. All right. Uh, is there anything you'd like to add that maybe we didn't talk about? Well, we just, I, I want to say we thank Longview so much because they've always been so open to show us everything. The police department, fire department, the communal service, the mayor meet anybody they need to, and then meeting with the oil and gas people that we deal with for this specific delegation is just something that's unique and uh, special to Longview, and we're very appreciative of that. All right, good deal. Thanks a lot.